Shalom. Um, as you can probably tell, Cody is not with me. Um, he is currently finishing up a freelance project and he's going to meet us later, but there's somebody here for you guys to meet. Oh, hey, it's me, Amber. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got to say that so, in a while. So if you've watched any of our older videos, you may have seen her in a few of them. She is one of our best friends from Tulsa. Yay! But she's been traveling the world for... Seven months. Seven months. Oh, my gosh. That's already happened. And so I haven't seen her for like seven months. For seven months. <laughs> So she came to visit, and we're going to go to the Rockefeller tree Christmas lighting. Wait. Yes, that's Rockefeller <laughs> Christmas tree lighting. <laughs> the Christmas Thing. lighting. <laughs> um, because Amber is obsessed with Christmas. Obsessed with Christmas. It's been on my bucket list for forever, and I hate crowds, and I don't care. I'm going to do it. Well, at least we'll be there with you. Yeah, that's right. So we're going to head there, and Cody's going to meet us at the tree lighting. So we'll see you in a bit. <laughs> we made it off the subway, and now we're trying to find where we should go. And we're pretty sure that it's probably right here. Okay. Um, well, according to that girl, it doesn't sound promising. Um, I don't know. Okay, I think what's happening is that the tree is down this road and to the left a little bit. And there is no way <laughs> we're gonna see it right here. We're a bit ambitious on our timeline. Yeah, we thought we thought eh, it's fine, but uh, I don't think it is. It's not fine, actually. So, oh, look, and this is oh, that's what I'm saying. It's like corralled off. Yes. Okay, we're gonna come up with another plan. I think we'll be back. Okay, guys, here's what happened. Um, it's way too crowded. Way too crowded. <laughs> and the tree lighting is in 15 minutes, and there's literally. No way we would get a block and a half. Actually in, impossible. Yeah, like the it's just not moving. Yeah, so we're trying to reroute ourselves yes. to the subway just to go to dinner. We're just gonna go look at it tomorrow when it's already regular lit. You know, when all these yeah. crazy people are out here screaming curse words. Yeah, you know, <laughs> we can actually feel the Get Christmas, the Christmas spirit, spirit. You know, spirit. do you think we'll be able um, to make it down this way? No idea. We're gonna try it. We're gonna just, try. Okay. We're stuck here. We live here now. Yeah, we do. Oh, you do actually. Oh, live here. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you trying to go? Uh, we have station. to get to the subway station. Uh, the NRW? It's back at 42nd Street. So, a uh, police oh. officer just stopped <laughs> us because we were going toward the tree lighting and he was like, you're not going to make it to that subway station. <laughs> you have to walk back to Times Square. So now we're walking seven blocks out of the way. Can we get on this one and switch over at one no, of those? It's a different, it's completely different trains. Okay. So, that's what we're doing. And then we're going to transfer oh, to the L to go to Williamsburg to How do we get a chance? We made it on the subway. We did it. The right subway. The right subway. So now we're just meeting Cody at Chance in Williamsburg because Amber has not eaten a chance yet. Just try some vegan food from It's going to be good. Yeah, it's going to be delicious. It's a dime. Shalomies. <laughs> we made it to Chance. Sarah never doesn't get tater tot chips. Yeah, never does. <laughs> I got the Nashville hot chicken. And I forgot the cauliflower po' boy. Very vegan. Not even sure what a po' boy is. Po' boy is like a, this roll with fried shrimp usually inside. It's kind of a fried seafood. It originates um, from Louisiana. It's very cajun. Interesting. <laughs> there you go. Fun fact. We're back in Manhattan and we're we're walking home, but we've walked by this uh, rice to riches like every day. Yeah, literally every day. <laughs> um, and we've never had it, and it is rice pudding like dessert. So since Amber's in town, and I love rice and I love pudding. <laughs> I hate never... rice and pudding, but I'm willing to try them together to try something new. I had a cauliflower sandwich today, so yeah, it's a day for new things. <laughs> rice and pudding have copulated and made nope. whatever this is. <laughs> Unadulterated uh, <laughs> rice pudding. It's interesting. 
chest thing on it. I was thinking it was going to be like rice, milk, and cinnamon. Cinnamon? <laughs> Didn't think that. It doesn't have that cinnamon taste. It's definitely... Don't tell me. Go for it. Gross. <laughs> the texture of throw up. Like the flavor is absolutely incredible. Yeah, is it? I'm having to convince myself a bit about the texture. But Interesting texture for sure. A lot of the hair with the original. Oh no. <laughs> Tastes like nothing. I don't like it. <laughs> it doesn't have a I mean, delicious taste of destructive from the texture. Yeah. The other flavors are definitely more enjoyable. But I don't mind the original. Oh, what a glowing review for $8 a scoop. <laughs> It kind of tastes like cereal milk. Cereal milk made in a little bit of Rice Krispie. Cereal milk and Rice Krispie. <laughs> no. The only thing that has cereal milk and Rice Krispie is if you left your Rice Krispies overnight for four days in curdled milk. <laughs> and the Rice Krispies are then soggy and then the milk is curdled and then it tastes terrible. That, I can see it there, yeah. <laughs> so, I like the Oreo because it has the cream in it. What is it? The Oreo cream. Mm, mm, mm. It makes me forget about the mm -hmm. texture even more than you want to touch. Got my first bite of Oreo. <laughs> Oreo is good, isn't it? Original, I recommend <laughs> 3 out of 10. <laughs> okay, that's a high. <laughs> French toast, I would recommend 7 out of 10. Oreo, 11 out of 10. 11 out of 10. Of rice pudding. <laughs> Okay, we'll say that. <laughs> I'm saying I would recommend it. I would recommend it as a flavor to try at Rice to Riches in Soho. Yeah. If I don't eat the original right after the bite of the really good flavors, I do enjoy it because it reminds me of when I was a kid, my grandma would make, she would heat up rice and milk with cinnamon in it for breakfast. And it was so good, I loved it. This is pretty similar, but it needs the cinnamon. I know you well enough to know the reason you like it is because you paid for it, and no. so you're forcing yourself to eat it. No. Yes, it is. Would I like it more piss free? Yes. <laughs> that's exactly my point. No, that's actually the opposite of your point. No. Yeah. You're right, fine. <laughs> you don't know me well enough, because if you knew me well enough, you would know that no. the more money I spend on something, the significantly worse it tastes. Actually, okay, I agree. Mm -mm. The more, mm, no, I don't know that I believe that. Yes. You're, I think if you're, I spend hundred dollars on a meal, it better taste like an orgasm or. A <laughs> <laughs> Please remember, this is called Oreo gas. Oh yeah. <laughs> and it, you, I love we need it. To roll back. Watch my face when I have my first bite of Oreo gas. <laughs> I'm done with this. Why am I? I know. More for me. <laughs> the flavor is incredible. Incredible. But the texture. Why? It's just so like blobby and mushy. It's the exact <laughs> texture of cottage cheese. Not exact. Like a really thick cottage cheese. And room temperature. <laughs> like, a, like a cottage cheese that when you turn it over, it doesn't come off the spoon. The bonus of Rice Riches is after you eat it, you can take their spoons home and it's a shoehorn. <laughs> Why is it called a shoe horn? Does anybody know? Because it looks like a horn and it goes does in your shoes. Like a horn? It doesn't. I would imagine that premise. I would imagine probably because the first shoe horn was an actual horn. Okay, but can you Google that because you're just making things up? I'm just challenging your premise in general that this is at all horn shaped. <laughs> what are you doing? Anything you put on your head looks like a horn. Look at this unicorn horn. This does look like a, like a bone. Like there are bones that look like this. Maybe not horns, but they're definitely bones. Well then why isn't a shoe bone? I don't know. Maybe they didn't like the idea of boning their shoes. Okay. <laughs> it says, additionally, expensive shoe horns were made from ivory, shells, silver, or bone. Or bone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Originally, shoe horns were made from animal horns, hooves, glass, and even paper. I can't possibly roll my eyes anymore. <laughs> my stomach is starting to hurt. Because look how, look how, look, all of this is still left. I don't know, what are you gonna do with it? We got way too much. Well, we tried rice pudding for the first time. Still don't know what rice pudding is. First and last time. No. Last time. Disgusting. Well, probably because I won't be able to get Sarah to come back. But. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm not coming back. <laughs> yes, I would have this again. Look, taste the Oreo one again. Tell me you would not have that again. I wouldn't have it again. <laughs> do you not like having orgasms in your mouth? First of all, <laughs> it's called Oreo Gasm. I understand what it's called. I just can't do it. I mean, the texture just gets me. That's what he said.
Right, guys, because of gay? That was a fun experience. It was it? It was. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you're not. I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on this channel. Sarah makes videos every Tuesday and Thursday over on hers. Amber is going to start making videos over on hers. All the links are in the description. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.